give credit. <clears throat> Let's give credit to P Band. Now they people give him a lot of hell. People are quick to say, "Oh, that's P Band now. Oh, that's going to be P Band now." They could have gave us this kit as a P Band now, right? They could have said, "You know what? Let's just drop all three individually and do just like how we do for the Glory of the Losers, right?" Like. What? What is going on, everybody? The Undergated Podcast presented to you by the Undergated Network. This is Coop at It's Coop on Instagram. I have the homie Gunpla Tesseract Austin. We are going to do a banger episode today. We're down a man, CD. Shout out to him. He's holding it down on the West Coast. West Coast time is always different, of course. Three hour delay, but it is Halloween. Trick or treat. You got to take the little one out. I already took mine out. It's cold. It's rainy down here in Virginia. It's the first like first cold day of the year. Yep. Plus the rain. So Mm -hmm. other than that, we're going to talk some gunplay. We're going to talk some anime. We're going to talk a little bit of everything. So I hope y'all enjoy. Let's go ahead and get into this episode. But of course, as always, always do a mental health check. Greetings, bro. How's your week been? How's everything going? Man, everything's going okay. Um, it's not too bad. Not too bad. Work's been busy as usual. Uh, I've been taking up a lot more, um, a few more hours just to, you know, get some more uh, bills in the pocket. So, uh, you know, a little bit of a struggle here and there. Sometimes it feels like it, but you know, all in all, um, I'm doing okay. I'm in a, I'm in a good place. Um, I'm just, uh, you know, just working, keep my head down, trying to focus. And you know, we're getting close to the end of the year. So right. shoot, I, it ta- it's it's one of those moments. It's one of those times where I start looking back on the year, uh, and man, this year has been wild. Uh, but <laughs> but uh, you know, all in all, it's uh, it's 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 been a, it's been a blast, especially with us now being um over our first year anniversary of yep. the Undergated Network, Undergated Podcast. Everybody, remember that contest is almost over, so remember to check it in. Sorry, I stole the spiel from you, but uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm doing I'm doing all right. How about you, brother? Uh I can't complain, man. Um, it's almost. It's like that time where you're waiting for time feels slow because you're waiting, right? Uh, we're moving in the end of the week. This Wednesday is the last work day for me. So it's coming up on Friday and feeling long. I got, I'm got i off from Thursday to Tuesday. So I'm going to have a little bit of a little mini vacation somewhat. But of course, NecoCon, dance, practice, uh, moving it's just a whole lot going on so i don't know if it's going to feel like a real time to chill but we'll get there we'll eventually get there it's plus thanksgiving's coming up too so we'll have those extra days off as well in between other than that man i can't complain like you it's, it's the year's winding down it's crazy how this year went by fast 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 but i can't complain i can't complain so we go ahead and go on to the next topic of the discussion it's going to be quick i think man Building and breaking out of backlog. Got anything new? Actually, I do. Um, what? So, my. <laughs> well, let me let me start off with the small things. So, uh, I small did get. Things. So we got. So we got a. We're we're back, people. The undergate is back. <laughs> <laughs> All those extra hours. <laughs> but uh, I I did order some stuff that was uh, I thought it was pretty cheap at the time, and um, it finally came in. Um, that uh, I thought. Once again, new to the airbrush game, but I got some Gaia paint, mm. Gaia notes paint, um, and I got four examples here, four different colors. Mm, um, okay. I ended up For getting the Spotify listeners. What colors we got? Let's see. I got the um, uh, the this was easier to read when it wasn't in Japanese. Um, or I got lemon. So that's okay. uh, lemon, um, lemon yellow for lessent orange so it actually looks clear in the bottle i don't know why but it's for lessent yeah um put a uv light on it it's gonna it's gonna glow oh it glows orange oh is that type of paint okay good all right all right awesome um and then i got two that are the frame arms girls official paints you guys know i I like to do girl kits i got armor gray so it's the same gray as their armor that Mm -hmm. the girls put on and i got and i'm sad uh, cd is here because he would have loved this 
It is the Frame Arms Girl Miku. That's Hatsu Miku, the famous uh, electronic singer, uh, idol okay. girl. White. So it has her white, like her version of a white color on her clothes mm. and whatnot. Uh, so I got those. Uh, and I was like, oh, oh, this is awesome. I got some guide note paints. I'm going to, you know, I hear guide notes is fantastic. Um, I'm going to just pop them into the airbrush, put a little bit of thinner in there, and then press the, whoa, 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 hold up. Slow your Wait road, a minute. Yeah. <laughs> got too you, much dip on your chip, brother. You got ahead and messed up because <laughs> I did not know until my my fantastic co-host, uh, both you and CD, told me you, um, that you. <laughs> you know, that I need to buy the official Gaia Notes thinner. That's the one that works not only the best, but kind of is the only one you really should use with these yeah. paints. Yeah. And then you don't want to cut corners. I, I noticed that about uh, Gundams and stuff like that. I I want to be... I like being transparent. What I've done is when I need a thin paint, I would I would used to go. I would used to go. Used to, I would go. I used mm -hmm. to go mm -hmm. and grab lacquer thinner industrial by the by Sherman Williams, mm -hmm. right? And just use that to cut my paint. And I talked to Andy at Hobby Town. He was like, um, well, he gave me some analogy. He was like, oh, that's what it, he's like. Do you go and get that thinner? It's like putting 87 gas in your car. You go get the thinner that's recommended for your paint. That's putting 93 and you're going to tell the difference. Mm. So you could put 87 in your car, which is fine. But obviously 93 is going to be a little bit better. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to try to get the paints, the real paint thinner for the paints. But most of my stuff is SMS anyway. So I yeah. don't. It's already pre thin but my bad. What you got? You got those colors, man. I'm excited for you, though, big dog. I'm excited. Yeah, for you. It, uh, no, and that's a bit of knowledge that once again, hey, this is a learning experience. I need to. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't know. I thought that you could just throw any thinner in there, and apparently you can. I was reading. Yeah, you line, can. But, but they just said that it, 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 you're really not going to get the best results you can. And they also, I remember one form was even saying you spent the money, you might as well get the best you can, and it's not even that expensive. Just yeah. go ahead and buy the thinner. So I'm going to look to purchase the thinner if I can find it. Because apparently a guy note sells out very quickly. Um, yeah, it does. A lot. So get, <laughs> if I was you, I'll get two, two, two. bottles because the, the taller ones, right? Correct. Because for every, I do a two to one ratio when I use the thin, mm -hmm. three to one. So pour that into like a little bottle, right? Like if it was like this, I'll take that guy a bottle and pour the paint in it. Then pour the thinner in the Gaia bottle three times mm. and shake it up. That's how thin it out. And then, I mean, you go if you got ten bottles of paint, that's refilling them thirty to thirty bottles, you know, for ten mm -hmm. bottles of paint. So you gonna run, you go run through some thinner. I believe it. Thinner, especially and, and if you use it also to like. I use my thinner sometimes to clean my airbrush to get like the 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 paint off the needle and the, out of the 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 feed and all that mm -hmm. so and 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 i mean and speaking of that about paints and um you know how, how many we need to keep in bottles and whatnot mm -hmm. speaking of that uh a fantastic viewer um unfortunately i can't remember your name i'm frantically looking through my messages to see where i saved your name uh but a fantastic viewer recommended me this video that showed that I can take all my rattle cans and I can take the paint out of them. And there's two real methods you can do. You can have the, the, the little plastic bottles with a nozzle, like a straw or whatnot, put in there, uh, spray it all into that bottle and then let mm -hmm. the bottle sit for a while while all the um, aerosol dissolves out. out. Yeah. Oh. And then you just close it. And then the paint, you have, you have essentially all your paint that you have from your rattle cans in that little bottle. So now you can use it for airbrushes. Um, mm. And another version is you literally just take a penetrator or something that can crack the can and you let all the aerosol leak out. So you make sure that there's the paint's not full, right? At yeah, the top. you, you flip it over. Yeah. yeah. You crack the top and you let all the aerosol come out. Once that comes out, you just take pry a can opener. Like a can opener and pry it open. Oh, open yeah, it that's smart. Pour it in. Um, I uh, Shoot, I'm frantically looking for the messages. If you are watching, you know who you are. <laughs> Thank you very much for that information. That's actually brilliant. Um, and um, that's the next plan now is I'm just going to buy a bunch of plastic, cheap plastic bottles and start these. I have Amazon. Enough, yeah, Amazon. And I have enough uh, 
rattle cans here to uh, paint the world. So it's going to. Question take- is, do you thin those though? That's a good question. I don't know because I was thinking he said that. Well, on the it video, pre thin. It should be pre thin. Yeah, I, I would imagine they're pre thin because you just all you need is primer and then you just spray it onto the model kit. So there must be some type of thinner already in there or some type of balance. Yeah. You're right there, maybe. I mean, but um, mm. but hey, there we go. That's that. Yeah. And uh, so that's the paints. That's the small purchase. So this was the big purchase. This one was made a while ago. Um, you guys can tell it's a monochrome box, which means uh, it was made a while back, but it finally got here. Um, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, something I'm pretty excited about. Uh, he made it. I don't know if the camera pick it up, but. Ooh. Come it on, is, camera! Come on, camera! There it is, the camphor Schwartz or, or Schwarter. Um, the black camphor, the black camphor that everybody was raving about. Negro de camphor. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there. <laughs> Negro de camphor. Ah! But, anyway, <laughs> but uh, it is the uh, Kaito's mobile suit from Gundam Build Fighters. It is the master grade version. So essentially, what this is is that it is the master grade camphor. Um, it is not a master grade 2.0. Uh, a lot of us were really hoping that was kind of the case, but that's not it. It's, it's literally just the older Master Grade um, that's just been redesigned by, uh, I believe it was either Naoki or someone else. That, uh, that's tough. That's a tough one. Yeah, ah. right? <laughs> and uh, the Master Grade is now here. So we, I finally got in studio and uh, welcome to the backlog. I think on Instagram I did a short story that showed that it, that it did arrive so people could take a look at it. But um, yeah, so finally uh, it's here. Um, I do not know when I'm going to get to building it, unfortunately. Um, everybody, I, uh, I, I've been so busy with work and everything like that, that a lot of stuff's been falling on the back burner, but I'm just happy that it's here. Um, and, uh, yeah, so welcome to the backlog. Um, and I don't know if I, 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 I'm getting the itch again. I told you I was, before we hopped on, we were talking to him and, uh, I'm getting the itch to build and I'm really liking the way this looks, but dang, those, those just as this. The me- a whole bunch of stuff just is popping up but hey you know that's that's everything i got and um yeah i'm excited to get to it and i'm happy these are here so um how about you sir uh not a whole lot check out coop's corner mm-hmm. to see what i picked up not a whole lot though figure it's figures i'll let y'all know so i hear figures, there's a the fantastic yeah. host on coop's corner too i hear this yeah i know it's, i mean yeah. the guy's incredible he, he yeah, hunts yeah. all the time he hits all the good stores yeah question of takes football out. teams but yeah he's good Hey, what is it is what it is well, so your preference you know I, I hear he's a birds fan as well so i'm bird fan as well so we're both birds that's good hey <laughs> make sure you check it out but, uh, <laughs> nothing really man um breaking down the backlog is happening i'm selling some kits i got some kits sold that's right yeah yeah um i'm making like a sales spreadsheet if i'm not here next week i'll leave it to austin the cd to pass out my belongings because in the process of moving i am going to the storage unit because my other furniture is in the storage unit my kits are in the storage unit and my girl hasn't seen the storage unit since we put stuff in the storage unit (laughs) so (laughs) if if i'm not here for three (laughs) to four episodes y'all can do a bidding It, it will be necessary Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, just make sure Ari gets a kit. That's all I ask. A couple of kits. That works. That's, that's all I ask. If that I don't works. make it out, y'all. That works. <laughs> but um, nah, not, nothing really, man. Nothing really. I haven't picked up much. Got the notification for the Toggies two metal built figure should be here this week. So that's exciting. I'm waiting go. to get that in and shoot that because I think the Toggies two is creeping up. As being one of my favorite mobile suits, they might beat out the Toggies one. I always thought that the Toggies two was was your favorite uh, from from how much I've heard you talk about it as of recent too. I think yeah, I think the Toggies two it'll probably go Toggies two, one, and then three. But three, don't get it twisted though. Three is like three so good. Yeah, three is good. Three, it's just not enough airtime. Yeah, it's just not enough airtime. That's the only thing. The real gun is crazy. Isn't that a shame? Crazy. Yeah, the right. Three, especially from the back, the three looks in nuts, and you never like in the animation you never see it from the back. Yeah, that's okay. crazy. And with the Epion whip, and with the Epion whip, 
Yeah, it looks insane. But hey, right. you know what can you, what can they do? <laughs> right. So, other than that, no real, no real kits, man. No real kits until that Epion. Ironically, we just spoke about Epion. Real great touchdown in the MGSD touchdown. The Barbados MGSD. When does the real great? When does it hit the states? I I think I saw a post saying third week of November. Third week of November. Okay. Oh, that's not too far though. That's not too I long. I think to wait. uh seeing somebody was it London Place? I can't remember. Mm-hmm. I was on Instagram and it was like we're taking pre orders now for the Epion. Um should that's be touching not- down third week of November. That's not too long to wait because I remember in the States, like I mean, I mean in Japan, it seems like it's an eternity when you see a new kit drop and you're just like, Oh god, what is it? Oh, it'll be here yeah. in four or five, six months. Like, okay, this is like what, a two month delay? Yeah. yeah. The only thing I'm mad about the yeah. Epion, that whip. Why? What happened? Being, one, being a single piece. It's going to be painter as hell to paint that. You oh, go it comes some... on the runner as a statue. Yeah. Right. It has that molded in technology. So it's already, it's posable, but it's just, it comes in as one piece to take off. E, you're right. The e, e. You gotta... I think it has like three different colors on that damn whip, too. So what's that? That's prime then one mask paint one mask remask paint one mask remask paint holy shit okay and then that's three colors right there so so that's nine that's nine to ten sessions jesus (laughs) that's nine i don't envy you god forbid if you want to change the color to white you have to multiply that by two so you're looking at almost 20 sessions good lord good lord <laughs> well That's, unless mm, unless you could freak it unless mm. you could freak it only thing i can think of is if you could freak the toggies three because the toggies three is all white the whip is all white so you could take that whip and paint it all white and then give it to the Toggies 3 if you don't feel like painting the whip a different color. And then taking the whip off the Toggies 3, which is separate pieces, mm-hmm. and put it on the Epion if it fits. If it fits. And, and if hmm, hmm, you could paint it as if it's heated up like it is in the movie. Yeah. Not, the whole thing is, and if you need to borrow fluorescent orange, apparently I, oh, have. I have. Yeah, I have fluorescent <laughs> orange. That's not a problem, but it's just, hmm, and that might just not get painted. I'm just being honest. With you. Okay, that makes sense. If the Epion would look dope without it painted and and just without the whip. I don't know. The whip is needed. Uh, the whip is needed. We'll see. We will see. And that goes, ironically, goes right into what's cooking. What we have working in progress. Some photos, some figures, some kits. I've been on a hiatus. This move has has priorities set to real life stuff right now. So not a whole lot of time time to relax and enjoy but once i get everything squared away which hopefully is this week i'm gonna go to ikea this weekend fingers crossed knowing my luck something only has one you know oh we got we only got one left or yeah we don't have this color whatever the case may be um if not i'll just order it but other than that when it comes to the real grade black tri stars i said i want to be able to start doing a live build on you for our youtube so make sure you like comment share subscribe hit the notification bell and it'll be notified every time we drop a new video things like that and we can do some live building chills and we'll be able to do the rg rg uh black tri star that's what, that's what's been my I haven't knocked out of RG Zaku so that's been kind of my like uh, itch right now for me do they make the black tristar in RG mm-hmm. oh oh okay I thought it was just Char Zaku and the regular Zaku in RG no so they have a boatload and make sure you check out P Bandai tonight because right. P Bandai is dropping a lot of Zaku real greats they have well, the well at time of recording <laughs> tonight no think, or is it wednesday this is wednesday, wednesday night wednesday night tonight when you're okay. watching this tonight oh, okay. few hours from now you have p bandai get you one of these real great zakus because it's damn hard to find a johnny ridden 
I mean, you go to Johnny, you look for the Johnny Ridden RG on websites, it is still listed at $26. That's how old it is. And that's how non-updated it is. So if you want a high mobility Zaku 2, and that's the one with the thrusters on the legs, you have to get one of these RGs. Pretty much. And then my, I want to be surprised if they stop production on a Johnny Ridden RG just so people don't customize the high mobility Z- so think about it if i have mm-hmm. an abundance of high mobility zaku's rgs why unless i'm not a painter but a lot of people are why would i wait to do the shin matsunaga the other two the one that's the, blue and white right the, yeah the one that's blue and white uh let's pull it up let's just pull up p bandai yeah, let's while we look at it. it yeah Let's take a look at P Bandai. They got, right, turn we got A the, coming. Uh, some turn A coming out too. Yeah, that, that one for build fighters. The turn A Cyan, and then the Hakushiki Kai, a one one hundred scale. And oh my god, if I wasn't saving right now, that would be my my. You would get it. Yes, I I so a bit of a thing. I love my master grade Hakushiki, the two point oh. That was amazing mm-hmm. build. I loved it. And I actually really like the design of the Hakushiki. I like this gold. I like the blue, the red, and the fact that this is such a rare and type of like unique looking design, especially in the in the logs. This is like the the updated version of Hakushiki getting ready for a mass production version of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, it's such a cool looking and unique kit and kind of a you know a conversation starter. Um, the only thing I can um, probably say that probably won't be fun is that gold. I don't know because by the picture of it, it looks shiny, but the 2.0 is shiny, but also kind of matte. Like they, mm. they did like a perfect blend of it. So it, it, I don't, yeah, I don't know yeah, if this I don't is know the what same is. gold as in like the Phoenix. Yeah. That's, and the Master and stuff. Like, yeah. That, that's the thing that's confusing me about the picture. So I'm not 100% sure if that's the same, but I got to look it up. But it looks, I, I like it. It looks and good. and my what my man Joe would say from Harvey Town, I hear you, Joe. His line, and I quote: mm-hmm. "If it ain't undergated, why bother?" True. <laughs> so, True. <laughs> oh man, it's good, good quote guy. too. It it, it, exactly. it works on both levels. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. If it ain't undergated, why bother? That's Joe words, not our people. It's, yeah, there uh, you go. <laughs> we just happened to uh, laminate it, <laughs> made yeah. it thicker. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> But this is this this is a pretty dope kit. I like it. I really like, I like it. The, the hockey shiki definitely is grown on me. The hockey mm-hmm. shiki is definitely. The show doesn't do it no justice. It's all mm-hmm. kits and all kits and seeing kit the kit this kit built and, and painted and MSVs. All the MSVs right. of it that uh it looks great. But um so yeah, why uh, so why but, if I have an abundance of Johnny Riddens and I'm a painter, right? Why would I wait until this drops to get this? I'll just exactly. I think they might they really might be holding on to this Johnny Red and Real Great so people can't do these. Yeah, man. There's three of them. Yeah. I forgot that, about the other one, the lightning. Right. What? Why are there three? What what what's the what's the game plan here? Is it let's just drop all of them now? And, and they're not going to do the Johnny Red. Yeah, all crazy. them except for Johnny Red, the one I know people want. <laughs> Because the John Ritter one has longer spikes on the shoulder, doesn't it? No, it, I think it's this one. It's just mm-hmm. this is just a different color. I don't know if the if the Johnny Ritter comes with the antenna though. Don't know. Johnny Ritter. It should. Yeah, John Ritter is a commander unit. Uh, let's see. Johnny Ridden Zaku RG. Um. And that was just a regular release. It wasn't even a P band. Yeah, that's a stand. Yeah, that's a standard release. It's just hard to find that kit. That kit is just a tough kit to find. Yeah. Sold out. Sold out. Sold out. Sold out. Yeah, and yeah, the giant red one has longer spikes on the shoulder. So if you do get this, you would still have to do either some plow plate or some molding on the yeah, shoulder. You get close enough if you paint it. You'll get get close enough. Oh, yeah, I mean, no one, no one's really gonna measure uh, it. I think yeah. freak you for too much, but um. The lightning one looks nice. I like the black with the red line here on the um, on that skirt. Looks pretty cool. And the kill markers on the forearms looks pretty great. The decals look. Oh wait a minute, are these these should be water slides since they're P Bandai? 
I uh, I really hope their water slides. Yeah. I, I don't think this bad paint. Placement. Yeah, that is pretty this bad is, placement there. Yeah, bad placement right there. Yeah, uh, but uh, but I they really should have no. Well, I guess I was gonna say they really should have mad at this, but they're really just they're not trying to show what you can do. They're trying to show yeah. what it is. Um, go ahead, grab this. Yeah, man, I thought about <laughs> it. Remember, I was I was salivating over the last one. But uh, but this color scheme looks silly. But I mean, I would just paint it back to the red and white one. Or the this uh, will, I think this will look pretty dope beside um the origins. The origins, you know what? If um a little bit more panel lining detail, if I do pick this up a little more panel on that forearm, just a little bit, right? And a little bit on the shoulders, and it would fit in pretty well. Probably a little bit right. on the calves. I mean on the quads, and it'd be great. Because they have a GM Cannon high grade master grade, right? Yeah, because yes. I see missing kit for it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're the red, red and white one. This is the GM Cannon Master Grade. I, I, you know, I've been looking for that high grade Origins Jim Cannon, um, but Lord knows, I, I that came out on P Bandai once, and that was it, mm. <laughs> once or twice or three times, and I, I missed all of them. And then a whole bunch the... of jinxes. The turn in. I, I don't know. It looks interesting. Um, but a lot of panel lining for it. It's got a lot. And you see it's an off white. Yeah, eggshell white. Yeah. Um, which I mean it's that's okay, but I feel like the plastic isn't gonna do it justice when it's made. I like I feel like this is a this is a project kit. I mean it looks great, but it, it it's probably gonna need a lot of work. And there's no way that color accuracy is there. I I, I doubt that the chest has that gray in the middle and sits there. Mm. And it, why are they selling the eclipse on P Bandai? uh i don't know and this is for okay so for those listening on spotify we are looking at the master grade 1 100 eclipse gundam uh it's standard only, release it's a standard release As a matter of fact they show the picture of the box which is standard <laughs> just... i've seen them do this for the pgu the unleash they did it for the unleash oh you know they did do it for the uh for the uh aerial as well when the aerial first dropped hmm but why are they doing this again? This would be a third re-release of a kit that's already been reissued like three other times on regular release. That's confusing. There, there must be some type of shortage probably for master grades getting over here. Here we go. We got a couple of kits that if you want to pick up, they still got. They're still available. They're still available. You can still pre-order. You have until the second, which is the size of FF, or as some will call it, <laughs> the Mister Krabs Gundam. The Mister Krabs. Mr. Krabs size of Which you can it, pre-order that on mm -hmm. November by November second, and it ships out December, so you don't have to wait that long. The Pixie as well, and also the one one hundred Garadoga. Mm-hmm. One one hundred Garadoga. This is they the... did it. Wait, did they? They did a green master grade of this one already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the, unicorn? The, uh, Let's no, unicorn. No, 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 no. The Gar, the Garazulu is the unicorn one. Okay. Yeah, I the don't Gar... remember seeing a master grade Garadoga. Yeah, the master grade Garadoga came out a while ago. Wow. Yeah, and it was green. Yeah, it was the one without the That's commander in it. I think, but it's it's okay. It, it, I mean, well. I like the look of it. I hear it's not a bad master grade. It's just, it, I, I think not a lot of people go for it immediately, which is meh. Some other kits that are still available that you could pick up that ships out in January. The 1100 Poly Pod Ball. This reminds me of um 86. These, it these does. Balls. The Juggernauts. Yeah, the Juggernauts. As a matter of fact, it looks kind of like it. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if this is where Bandai got the idea from. <laughs> Didn't one of these start off as like a... It may... I think one of them was a GBWC winner, won't it? Yeah, one of them... Well, one of them was a finalist. I don't know if it won, but one of them was definitely a finalist. That made it all the way... I think... I thought one of them got all the way to the point where they say, we're going to do yours as a kit. Oh, maybe maybe that polyball was the winner. It's like somebody did it and they decided to just make it a kit. The Liao unit, 
of Shenlong. Still up for available. Still up for pre-order. You have until December 4th. Which, not a bad kit. I mean, it's just the add-on packs. So if you have a, if you don't have a Master Grade Shenlong. And you're willing to wait until January. I will get this. Because this looks more menacing. With the Liao unit. Which is the sword and the shield. It looks more menacing like that. Than it mm -hmm. does with the trident. Mm-hmm. Then you also have the expansion parts for the Master Grade, so the Glory of the Losers, that's still available. So if you have Nataku, uh, Targi's 2 Master Grade, which was available for a while, you get the sword. The Targi's 2, yeah, you get the sword or the Excalibur, what I forgot what he called this shit in, in the book. <laughs> Nataku, you get the, I kind of want the Dragon, the Dragon set for the back. It's mm -hmm. almost like it's Blaster. And an extra, some extra wings. Essentially, and this think, season two outfit. Yeah, and then I think you get extra side skirts. Yeah, side skirt weapons for the Death Scythe Hell custom, which is a standard release, which I need to pick up again eventually. Because mm -hmm. I built that. That was like my second Master Grade back into the hobby. Mm -hmm. It's just, if I'm not wow. mistaken, you have a Death Scythe, but is it the Death Scythe yeah. or you just EW? It's the Rosette. Oh, Rosette, that's right. Yeah. That's, that's right. the only one I have. And I didn't want to get the normal release because I had the Rosette. And then I got the Death Scythe Hell. But that was like my second kit back. So I want to do it again and paint that. Got you, got you, got you. Because I have... I have the Targis too, but it's a metallic coating. I might break, Yeah, Master Grade. I might break that out. It's in a box. It's not like... Shouldn't be damaged. Because I have this blade... But we'll see. Metallic. Then we have the MG X Impulse still available for pre order. Z high grade Zaku, high mobility, land battle, both from Domes Island. And then the expansion pack. Mm -hmm. Scope Dog. Scope Dog expansion pack for photons. Essentially, uh, just the weapons and the character walking by. Yeah, uh, I need to pick the. Oh. Yeah, and there's a second expansion pack where one where you get the effects of him running around, like he hit this the like the effect parts, like the dust kicking up or the the for like, twenty bucks. That's not bad. Because you bad. don't have to just use this for this guy. No, you don't. Especially getting that character, that that walking character. Yeah. Yikes. Huh. Let's see, and that was January. We're gonna look into February. Things that still up for pre order. The Epion still up for pre-order? Yep. It is. So you can pre-order the new Epion. Toggies 2 is still up for pre-order. So you could pre-order that. So if you, you can get the expansion set. Um, Real grade. No, master grade size of B funnels. High new. I can't wait for you to get this in. Yeah, Ironically, as you have the high new weapon set behind you. Yep. Then I'll have both. Purple or blue on the high new? Which one looks better? You know, that's a good question. I go back and forth, man. The blue has its own special appeal, but the purple is so uniquely, like, aesthetically pre pleasing to me. Yeah, it's just it because there's you see so few purple suits. Yeah, when you see this, you're just like, man, it stands out and it's just there and it's bold. I love it. I love it. Um, for me personally, I think I'm gonna go purple. You wanna go purple? Yeah. Uh, blue. It's tough. Blue I like. Good. I always like cobalt on a high mm -hmm. new, which mm -hmm. is a mixture of like blue and purple. Mm -hmm. But if I have to go high new, which one is is the real gray? I know that's the blue one, but which one is anime accurate or manga accurate? I guess. Uh, ever, since it's black and white in the manga, huh? I don't know. I I huh. wonder why they bounce around between blue and white. why why didn't the real gray drop? And purple, and and Why you know it's dropping blue. The the thing with the high new too, since you're right, it is in black and white. But even the MSVs, like the mobile suit discoveries, they're yeah. different ranges of purple, and they but they describe it as blue, which blue and purple are technically the same color. But I mean, when you describe them, but I don't, I I, I don't know. That's a good question. If you, hey, if in the comments, let us know. I know some people think that we don't read the comments. And we I'm actually shocked. do. Yeah. We do read the comments, so please let us know. <laughs> and I am shocked that they haven't dropped bandai hasn't dropped 
a real great P Bandai in the purple color. Well, if you want it in purple, what did they? They, they did it for um, like if you want a TV animation togies. Mm-hmm. That was the t- like the real grade is different. That was the real grade. EW is different. They have they dropped the anime version on P Bandai. Did they ever drop a a, a metal build or a figure rise standard or 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 the I guess what what's the ones where it's a it's like an action figure size but it's not figure rise standard it's not metal build it's yeah. something else. Um, uh, Gundam Universe. Gundam Universe. Yeah. Did they ever drop a Gundam Universe version of the high new? Not for the high new, just for the new. Just for the new. I feel like I feel like I've seen one that's like in that scale, but mm-hmm. is this but blue? They like have the metal built figure coming out for this. Mm-hmm. That was announced a couple weeks, couple months back. Because remember, I was like, I want to get this, but I want to stick to the metal built figures. I mm-hmm. want to stick to Wing. I don't want to really stick to a UC. Mm-hmm. They ha- so they have it, and it's almost royal metallic blue. Mm, got you. And then double fin got, funnel, new Gundam. Yeah, double fin uh master grade. And you also get, I think you get the stand. The stand. The, yeah. No, 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 no. The stand oh, comes effects. with the master grade. That's right. You get the beam effects. Right? Beam effects. Correct. Mm-hmm. And I think you get, you might get an extra stand to add on to the kit. Yeah, one more over. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Oh, you do get a stand. So you do get the stand. Yep. And, and, yep. And beat effects. Okay. You get so, a lot for 22 bucks. $22. Yeah. That's not bad. Not bad at all. And it ships one February. Oh, my God. Yeah. February is loaded, man. I, I don't know if you right. don't. Good Lord. I mean, we're looking at it now. But I mean, if you if people, if you order everything in February, consolidate your order immediately. If you can. <laughs> Jeez. Because you can get a, that's what I'm saying. All these are still available. You can get, uh, we're looking at the heavy weapon set for the high new. I mean, for the new as well. Mm -hmm. So for 50 bucks, 60 bucks, you could get extra fin funnels and the weapon set. Ooh, with a master grade new. That that would look crazy. That would. You can get the armadillo pack for Shan Rock. That's still available out there for people. 63 but it still looks badass yeah it does look good it that's does great. look good i don't that's know great. when i want to get around to building this yeah that's right you have one yeah i don't know i just don't see stan rock is that i wonder if they if you look at it right and i, mm-hmm. and I could be reaching right now mm-hmm. is gundam wings representation color wise of the new gundam yeah it's dang close to it it's, now, it's now close right say it, yeah it's very close and then we flip around and endless waltz get a, a shade of purple on a sand rock <laughs> and, like the high new i'm just and, saying no 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 you know no it actually would make sense because the pilot of sand rock it was supposed to be an inspiration of amuro as a new type and it's supposed to even look like amuro just with blonde hair and have the same it might and, be, you might be on the phone. And the voice actor is Amaro. Is Amaro. This literally Catra's voice <laughs> actor. Catra's this, voice actor is Amaro. So this is literally <laughs> Gundam, is this Gundam Wings version of the, of new, the Gundam? new Gundam? They just I mean, the colors in there. Rifle. It's yeah, just yeah, it they, doesn't have the funnels. I mean, funnel. tell me this isn't I mean, come on. The only thing they left out was the only thing they added was gold because there's no regular yellow or yeah. smart yellow amounts on that, but yeah. Could this not be? I know people calm down. Heavy arms is, is the loaded pack. I get it. But could this not be the heavy weapon system on the new Gundam? It technically could. So a lot of extra armor. It's literally called Armadillo. <laughs> <laughs> like Armoro. <laughs> but this one, um, this looks so good. I just looks good. I remember as when I first got back into the hobby, i I couldn't find a Master Great Sand Rock that saved my life. When I got into the hobby, this was one of the first kits I ever wanted, but I had no idea what P Bandai was. Right. Or e- even how to get it. So I was looking frantically. When I kept seeing the price was like $300, I was this close to buying it, spending that for it because I just said, oh, yeah, that's that must be the price because I never see this anywhere. Um, but I'm glad I didn't. But I've, but dude, this is, I still kind of, I still really want this. For because, 63 um, is not bad. Yeah. And I'm, I'm excited to see if you build it when you paint it. 
because I think this painted up all the painted versions I've seen of it look fantastic. So I'm just I excited. wouldn't mind doing that in like a metallic purple, what a blue is. Mm -hmm. But we'll see. We'll get in a little bit more into that down the line of the show tonight as well. Yeah, everybody, so we're we're around. we're taking a fun time to look at a P Bandai. <laughs> we're, Absolutely. We're, if we win the million, if we win the billionaire lottery, this is <laughs> this is where we going. <laughs> this is where we're going. Then we have the six form expansion part and mobile. Wow. Yep. Yeah, that dude. What, man, February is loaded. I don't know why they're dropping all this stuff. Now. Well, you know why? I think it's because Christmas is coming up. But dude, February is loaded, and this is I'm on the docket for me. Yeah, this opened up July, so this yeah. Did you you pre order this? I am this close to doing it, man. This close. But what you get for thirty eight dollars is a ton of stuff. It's a ton of stuff. And I have a Master Grade Barbatos now, so you and do I, have a Master Grade Barbatos <laughs> now. And I like the sixth form. I, I remember I tell people too. I said the sixth form is probably my favorite form out of all the Barbatos. The feet is a little weird, but I like the I like the sixth form. So. Ah, that's a lot of stuff. And, mm -hmm. and the mobile worker. And the mobile worker, which is dope because I have the hangar that's in the same scale. So you sit that there and there there you go. You got your diorama yeah, set right there. Right, exactly. And you're not going to get, it's obviously, you're not going to get the mobile worker anywhere else. So Unless you hard have a third-party resin printed, which you're going to have to pay $38 to get anyway. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then for you again, some 1-100 stuff. The J type and Q type for the F90. Mistake me if I'm wrong. Didn't they just release like another pack that they just like said that's coming out again recently? I, I, I would mistake you if you were wrong if I knew, brother. Dude, uh, they, there's so many. I don't even have an F90. <laughs> uh, let's see. Man, my Zeta Plus high grade. She's there waiting for me. Here about that, that, that looks that does not look good. You don't like that. You you no, know what? I don't. I think the sword looks cool. I don't really like the upside down wings. I've never that, really yeah. heard that. Yeah. And the and the V fin. The V fin. Especially <laughs> when they have that little safety thing up there on a the high grade. Mm -hmm. Little uh you, you know what he, that that reminds me of? If you ever played Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, there's a character that's called Zora or Zoro. Mm-hmm. And it literally looks like the top of his head. <laughs> and he's a fish. So it just looks like a hammerhead fish to me. <laughs> you can still pre-order the, of the Death Scythe Hell. One high grade. 28 bucks. Which is crazy. I'm surprised this hasn't sold out. But if people probably... If you got this, then... Yeah. How, how many times have they released this? A couple, I think This right? might be the third time in it's sitting. All right, so this thing the, the math I think they might have mass produced this one a lot. Got you. And it, it, usually, if they if it's like a third re release, you're 100 right. They they mass produced a lot of it, and also this might probably be the last real major release of it. Mm -hmm. They'll probably let it sit now for a while, and then once it's cleared up, it's over. <laughs> don't tempt me. And, and he's talking. Don't tempt him on buying the Master Grade. Start shaking. It's oh my god! Look at it. I it's think so, you were freak this year, dude. Look at it. It's so beautiful. Oh my god! Everybody, my bad, man. everybody has no idea. Just look at it. Oh my god! <laughs> it looks so good. It looks. So, I've been asking for it forever, and I just never have the money. <laughs> I never have the money, man. I, it, it is eighty-two. That's what. That's what. That's what. Seriously, is shocking to me. It's eighty-two dollars i i know they did some more engineering but dude do you see 82 dollars worth it's a j is it just this is it, this just no, the 82 no, no no the chest has been redesigned uh the, the, if you look at the chest vent there's chest vents where there usually isn't um there's a the skirt has been uh redesigned and uh the uh oh. the, the, the the head has been redesigned so if you look at the if you look at the jagans behind it you see how the, those yeah are different also has vulcans on there but truth be told what all what's really changed is the chest uh, the sides, the side skirts, um, and uh, the feet, the, the the ends of the feet, uh, and the head. So I, I admit that there is some tooling into it, but the original Stark Jagan, even the D model, is like forty four dollars, dude. Twice the price for thirty Same for kit. twenty percent or thirty percent more kit. That's 
that math ain't math in here. Like what? What happened? It's got to add it up. Yeah, bro. I, Looking at about a hundred dollars after tax, dude. That's a hundred dollars for a Stark Jagan. I want it bad, but jeez, dude, that's a uh, man. Well, uh, we still have time. Apparently, yeah, cool. we still have time. What is the pre-order? Yeah. January. January. Yeah. So we we got plenty of time. And ladies and gentlemen, if you want to take it, feel free to take it, but just don't take mine. Just leave. Leave me one, please. Leave me one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, nothing else really popped off on this is it for February. Figure out standard Soleta, uh, Soleta Mercury. But her regular uniform, which um I already see people you and you know who you are, you naughty naughty people, uh hooking this up with the 30 minute mission kits. I mean you guys have made some dope looking figures, but dang. <laughs> 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 it's okay. I don't to me, I feel like they're really destroying like the figure out standard because I get it, inflation. But at one point in time, man, the Ultraman kits, I think one Ultraman seven kit that was a fully armed seven heavy weapon system seven was like fifty five, but that's a lot of kit. For this to be forty three, is that the normal rate? How much is a it's a girl kit anyway, like a standard 30 minute sister. A 30 minute sisters can be as low as $22, as high as I've seen it is like up to 40. Yeah. But those 40 ones are the bigger boxes. You get a lot more in them than you do this. I I, I don't know what, why it's 43 here. Is yeah. it, unless it's pre painted? Maybe the stuff we're looking at is pre painted. So you, maybe that's where the extra $10, $20 come in. Here we go. My bad for cutting you off. You no, are absolutely right. We are looking at the decal sheet. I need to. I want to order this, but I don't know how much shipping. If, if shipping is ten bucks, twenty seven dollars. It's gonna. It's gonna be ten bucks from for here, bro, where we live. It's twenty seven dollars for a decal sheet. Yeah. How about this? If we go, if you order it, we have to go have these. Because um, I you want all of it. <laughs> because I want the numbers at the bottom. That's it. Yeah, I want the numbers. Yeah, and um, and uh, the and a few other symbols here and there, but that's about it. Roman Fella Foundation, the Marty May. That's what I'm saying. The Marty May Army. Why are they giving us Marty May's Army? Hint, hint. Something's coming. Something's got to be coming, right? Yep. Gil Maxwell, Shang Wu Fei, Catra, Hero. Ooh. They're giving you red, gray, and white. So it doesn't matter yeah. what custom color you paint your kit with. You still got something that works with it. Then you have the Preventers, the Roma Fella Foundation, and Miliardo Peacecraft. Ah. January 2nd. We'll see. We'll see. Ooh, what is that? 30 minute. 30 minute. Oh, uh, by the way, news, everybody, for what's new, by the way. Um, a little snippet. bit. Bandai is going to be making armor core kits. So if you're yeah. a fan of armor so core. They have the 30 minute mission line is going to be part of the armor core line, which I mean, granted, I mean, I mean, as, hey, at least we're getting armor core kits. That's a good thing. But I would have preferred a 1 100 scale. But hey, it's whatever. Let me ask you this, though, because I asked Marvin at Hobby Town. Armor core, I never played it. Mm -hmm. Armor core is just a kit bash video game S type. Right, like, is there like a base armor, like a base suit? I always just thought you just customize your suit and just go out and fight. Like yeah. You just, so, so, but there's base suits. Uh, uh, you can count the enemies you encounter. Some of them having base suits, like, like a. But you also, suit. my fault. You start off with one mobile suit or one armored core, and then you build off of that. Uh, you, 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 yes, in a way. So, like the torso, you can change the torsos too. So, th think of it as like the ultimate kit bash mobile suit. And, and you're kind of, I, I see what you mean. What you're asking is, is there actually like a base unit that's it, everything yeah. else based around? No, it, it literally is free form. Everything your 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 armor core could be so drastically different by the end of the game to what the regular starter unit that you start off with would so be. how are they going to do that so they're going to just how would you 
imagine they doing this. If there's no bass, mm -hmm. they're just gonna drop like here's the body and by the legs, by the arms. If you like, so one way I I hear what you mean. Yeah, well, in Armor Core there are like certain like ace unit suits, mm -hmm. so they could just make those ace unit suits. But if they want to, what they could do is say, hey, uh, take an idea that you uh, proposed a while back. Um, and everything that they release, they say, here, hey, here's this version of a chess piece. Here's one chess piece, right? And and you're like, okay, cool. If I want to build my armor core, I need this chess piece. And in the game, there's like 32 or 40 different chess pieces you can select. Um, I might be over-exaggerating, but it, there's multiple ones, right? So Bandai could release a pack that's all 32 just chess pieces, right? And then all 110 different weapons. And then all hundred and you know different arms, Yikes. and then all hundred different legs, and then you just build your own armor kit that you built in the game. That way, you have the option to build the exact one you made in the game, right? So, um, th I think that's the way they're going to go about doing it. Now, of course, that's going to be a money sink, as I don't know as all hell. I, I, I I'm not a fan worse of that. Than what VCs now in, in like games that you have to purchase stuff to. What's those games called? Free to play. No, 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 no. Almost like free to play games. Damn it, this is I'm running blank on the name of the game. Those games where you have to Gotcha? Not gotcha. Um those video games where you have to buy a whole lot. Like there's what is that called? I'm not to, I'm we're, we're not moving forward in the episode. <laughs> you have to buy a whole lot. Just describe to yeah, me. Yeah, like yeah. loot. No, it's not looting. Like if I have who was that game that came out a couple years ago? It was like, it it wasn't it wasn't um, was it a shooter? It wasn't Elder Ring. It was like the first game in a long time, which it, you don't Baldur's have to Gate? pay. You don't have to pay. Is that what it's called? Baldur's Gate was one of them. Yeah, Baldur's Gate was kind of the one that launched with zero loot boxes, zero pre order cash grabs. No, this was zero. like game of the year just a couple years ago. Oh, game of the year a couple years ago. Oh, um, um, who you didn't need game. no. You, it was sixty uh, base price. No DLCs. You uh, just have to earn. Earn everything. Uh, let's see. Was it a Nintendo, PS4? Uh, it was Xbox. I think it was Xbox and PlayStation. Xbox and PlayStation? Okay. Woo. Ugh. I mean, uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild came out in 2016. So if we just work our way back from there. Okay. Uh, uh, let me see. Game, game of, of the Year. year. IGN's list. Game of the Year 2020. Or 2020. It wasn't Elder Ring. It was... 2023 2022 was it elden ring elden ring yeah elden ring one last year yeah and elden ring that's was, off uh, of dark souls isn't it yeah it's pretty much the same guy who made dark souls it's a whole different universe but um it pretty much plays like a perfected dark souls game yeah you're right there's no loot boxes there's no uh pre-order bonuses stuff like that there's no cash grab in it there, it's literally you play the game and you get good at it and you unlock stuff same thing with armor core there's no there is a pre-order bundle thing that's like seven hundred dollars but i don't know who bought it um mm. but uh yeah there's no real loot boxes there's no cash grab thing in it um yeah, that yeah. type of games where you they're free to play but you have to souls buy play buy that's a category of a game and leave in the comments people i'm not a gamer like that anymore i'm a casual gamer i'm not a gamer extremist like austin but <laughs> i forgot what those type of games are called soulborn they called soulborn so it's it's based off of bloodborne and and dark souls it's a it's a game where you essentially hack and slash you go around free roaming no and... no, no 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 not those type of games where oh. games where they're free but you have to buy a lot oh freemium yeah. No, that's not the word. Play to win? No. Loot boxes, cash grab, gotcha. It's like All right, we, we're moving on. <laughs> yeah, we're moving on. <laughs> we're, <laughs> let me we're just let me... forever. <laughs> because like Gigin Impact for example is like a is like a free to play game. Yeah. You, you buy a bunch of loot boxes to get stuff. Um uh what was it? Uh Overwatch was like that. Um and then there's pay to win games where games where you, the more money you pay, the obviously the better your character gets and the more advantage. Yeah, like so like uh I think Call of Duty for a short period of time was like that, and then they fixed it. Uh Valorant, I think, is not like that because it's all just cosmetics that you buy. Um uh CSS uh by the way, Counter Strike got a new update, everybody. Counter Strike 2 is out, or or I guess it's technically two, two point Um yeah, global offensive came out, so everybody's loving that and then Shoot, dude. Uh, you got me there. 
Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm drawing blank. Somebody in the comments will let me know. I appreciate it. It'll be wow. those. Yeah. Dude, it's God of War came out last year. Ragnarok? It did? Yeah, oh, yeah God of War Ragnarok came out last year. Huh. And Zero Blade Chronicles 3. And Forbidden. So we're War. looking at mm-hmm. things that are releasing in, I think this is in March. Yeah, we got March on P Bandai. Is the Flugel still up? No way, the Flugel is still yep. up. The Flugel is still up. The it's Master Grade Toggy Flugel. Wow. It's uh, still available right. for pre order. I'm calling it now. Christmas time that's going to be sold out. And the Mark, Mark 5 is still up. Mark 5 still up. CD, you be so happy. <laughs> Hakashiki Crash. Mm hmm. Do you like this one? This is one that I actually am not a fan of. I, I think I'm more a fan of the gold, but these the shoulders are too big. The back, yeah. Like, thrusters look like speakers, like music speakers to me. So never been a fan. Master Grade Zaku Cannon. I know yes. you're, not a, you're not a big fan of the mono eye, but yeah. Yes. <laughs> and it's the unicorn version for God's sakes. And it is kind of scary though. Why there's no why is only one picture? Yeah, there's only one picture. It is old. <laughs> it, it, it's an old master grid. I think that's uh, what you're looking at. For those watching, uh just if you're it, for those walking, if you want to know what we're looking at, stand up, slightly squat <laughs> your leg, yeah. and put your arms at your side, and that looks to be the extent of the articulation. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. Oof. Trying this to see is- here. I did I did pre-order this for the fellas. This is mm-hmm. the three pack from the expansion parts from Witch for Mercury because I will eventually get a Darter Blade. I have and a Farak, and I think this looks like, sick. Dark Blood McLeas, yeah. Everybody's see, getting it for the Dari Blade, man. Everybody's getting it for that Dari Blade. See, this is what I thought. Pete, they, this was going to be a P band, even though it is. I thought mm-hmm. this suit was going to be a P band. It looks let's, like they just found the part. So. Let's give credit. Let's give credit. To P Bandai, they, people give him a lot of hell. People are quick to say, "Oh, that's P Bandai. Oh, that's gonna be P Bandai." They could have gave us this kit as a P Bandai, right? They could have said, "You know what? Let's just drop all three individually and do just like how we do for the Glory of Losers, right?" Like, "Oh, I have a Farak. Or oh, if you want this, you're gonna have two Faraks, and one of them will look like this." They gave us the expansion parts, which is, I'll give them credit. They didn't have to do that. And you get this weapon here, I believe. Yeah. Add on. Now, I give them half credit because for the Mercalius, the, the jetpack for the back of the aerial, they that was a regular release. And they give you extra hands and everything like that with that. I don't know why this wasn't a regular release, too. I mean, even the uh, the Choo Choo, the Demi Trainer got a mm-hmm. regular release for all the extra hands and weapons. But this doesn't get a regular release. This, this is a regular release, ain't it? No, this is a P Bandai. And the killers, the weapons are P Bandai. The weapons are P Bandai. Yeah, for the Choo Choo's, you know, the Demi Trainer, right? Choo Choo Demi Trainer. Yeah. For the extra weapons and the extra hand pieces you get with that kit, that's a regular release as an expansion pack you can buy. Mm, yeah, that's right. Yeah. And same thing with the Aerial. You had an expansion pack for that. That's a regular release. So I'm kind of confused as, well, not confused. I know why. It's because these kits look cool. Yeah. Yeah. So I give them half a point. <laughs> they they could have made it worse. They they could have. <laughs> they they still I, I still would have liked to see a regular release, but it could have it could have been worse. Mm-hmm. And I, that's my baby right there, the Mersai, the Marsai oh, Gundam Unicorn version. I already ordered it. Oh, you ordered? It? Yes, I did. Yeah. Now, for forty four, what? Another <laughs> one picture. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> 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 I mean, this is a tough sell. You gotta be a true fan and say, you know what, I want this kit. I, I I've been wanting the unicorn version of the Mars. Side. Remember, I was this close to buying the red one. I was talking to you guys about oh, it. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, and I said I want it, and I'm going to paint it green. Well, now I'm still going to paint it, but now I I get the weapon. <laughs> so even better. There we go. Oh, man, she cannot move. <laughs> Mm, dope pictures. That's a dope yeah. picture. Right? It's just, I wish it came with the hanger. 
But that's just yeah. the hanger. That's the yeah. They just made that picture look dope. Yeah, that's the that's the hanger. That's the lighting. If it is this just the FSD? Uh, essentially, yeah. I know the shield looks like that on the FSD, and we're looking at the heavy Gundam high grade rollout color. In 144 scale. In 144 scale. Looks just like the FSD. I wish they could be. I know you could tell as builders, we can we know. Um they need to put origins. They need to put the yes. HG GTO up here. So we know it's an origins kit. Yes. It yeah. might not be origins to the name, but <clears throat> that style of high grade. This this is the exact it origins. It. Yeah, this is the exact origins uh, heavy gun or or, or what you call it kit underneath too. So, I mean, tr they really should because um I, I think it would go a long way. So we all know what we're getting into. Yeah, because the origins kit people see that and I think they jump straight to it. Mm -hmm. And also, it'd be compatible with all your other origins arc seventy eights anyway. So right, you don't want the prototype goof. No, I thought about it. Um. I'm uh I'm not sold on the goof yet, and I'm definitely not sold on that color. Uh, but I, I and you know what the Gatling gun is so iconic to me. I don't really think I could get a goof without it. Mm. And I got a Digimon kit for eighty five. Oh, special coding. Yeah, okay, special coding one. Yeah, it this looks, is the looks really gorgeous. Dukemon Galatamon special coding one. Yeah, it does look good. It does look good. Yeah, it looks great. I just wish I was more of a Digimon fan. I'm just, I, I just never I'm was. So far out. Yeah, I'm so far out. Digimon. I think I got up to like season three, season mm -hmm. four. And then I think we got April, which is the ones we just looked at. So yep. all the new stuff dropping. All the new stuff that's dropping tonight. If you're watching this when we first air on Wednesday, every Wednesday at three o'clock. Make sure you tune Man, in. That's cheeky Kai. Man, that thing looks good. Go I mean, ahead, big dog. I mean, it's going to sit though. It's going to yeah, sit. Yeah, it's going to sit. It, it's $104 and then plus tax <clears> 114 or 112. Does this, does this beat up the Stark Jagan? Dang, you know what? This, this, in my opinion, would definitely be more unique to have in your collection than the Stark Jagan. I, I, I find the Stark Jagan everywhere just for up, you know, upsell. But, um, yeah, this, uh, this is possible to find anywhere. That and, is true. Whew, that's a toughie. You know, if, hmm. And you know what? If I'm spending that amount of money, what's the point of saving? If I'm going to spend 90 some odd dollars on the Stark Jagan, I might as well just. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you got, like, if you're like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get the Stark Jagan. And you look at it, it's like 104 after tax and shipping or whatever the case may be. Or may, like 90, what, $10 shipping, probably five, six dollars right. tax. Shoot. You, $2. Yeah. So you're looking right. at about $100 even. Exactly. And at that point, you're just saying, okay, what am I just going to eat ham and cheese sandwiches for one week? Or am I going to eat ham and cheese sandwiches for two weeks? Let me just eat ham and cheese sandwiches for two weeks. I like ham and cheese sandwiches. Let me just, you know, <laughs> stick to that and then not go out, out, out eating. Just, you know, pay for it. Man, it looks good. I, I, I might buy the bullet. You know, I might buy the bullet, man. I don't blame you if you do. I would like to see it. I would like to see any. I haven't. I don't think I've ever seen the Hakashiki. Master grade? You have it? I seen it in store. I don't think I seen it in person. Oh, okay. I have mine built. I, you know, I'll bring mine to Hobby Town. I have to swap out my kits in Hobby Town anyway. I'll bring mine out and swap it out. And we're looking at the Camp Sword, the one that Austin just got. What do you think? This, this is what messes me up, and I always question, right? What do you think is the difference to make them change the box? What do you mean? This that's not the box for the camper. The, as in the size, the dimensions of that box. The camper is oh yeah, the rectangle, right? Like the goof. Yeah, Isn't yeah, it? yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's um it's it uh, uh it's actually it, it was like thicker but shorter. So uh they spread everything out, which I don't know why. You know what? Let's open it up, see if we can take a look. Because I used to have a I actually used to have a um a camper. I uh, I gifted it to a friend, but I did I did open it to take a look at the inside of it just to see what it looks like. And um, I always wonder like what's the difference? That much of a difference. It looks like most of the stuff. If uh, the camera can, uh, it's, the camera's look. not going to pick that. Yeah, up. camera's not going to. Yeah, it's all black. Um, it looks like it's. 
see. Is there anything extra long in here? No, everything's in separate bags. Two bags. Runners. Two bags each runner. Huh. I'm not sure. It must have been just more economic for them to yeah. do. Yeah. I know that there was a problem with the first ones that they shipped out, though. Um, and apparently, I believe mine has that issue, too. They issued a reprint for the manual um, after they already made it. They found out there was a there was an error in the manual when it came to the eggs. Yeah. Um, that, Yours, uh, you have the good manual or the old manual? I think I have the bad one. Uh, let's take a look. Um, oh, yeah, this right seal it. The collector in me is telling you to seal it and don't, don't even don't open, don't open it. it. <laughs> a yeah, misprint? <laughs> I think this is the misprint one. It might be. Yeah, I'm not. I would kidding. seal it and and try to find a manual online to build it. Huh. Let's see the legs. Here we go. Um. Here's the legs. Okay. That. that. What is it? What was the misprint? Like, what was it saying? So it was saying that uh, essentially these, um, the you know those sides on the 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 kit that parts that are like spiked out at the bottom right here. Uh, side of the uh the yeah the calves yeah, yeah. that spike that's above that first thruster that you run into apparently that needs to be put on before or after one of the major panels and you know what i don't think i'm seeing it here this might be the incorrect one yeah here we go this this is it this is the part so um apparently there's a uh, I don't know how well we're not going to see that. Gonna, but yeah, but right here, there should uh -huh. be another part that's in between here that you put in there uh -huh. that's not listed. Um, so it's a misprint. Huh? I think I have this mis. I think I have the misprint. Huh? I have to check Seal online it. to double check. But yeah, Seal you're right. It. Seal it. <laughs> Seal it. So you have the misprinted manual. Yeah, they did send out that email saying that they had a they had a defect. So, and I did. That's get it, wild. I'll save it. Ah, it makes me want to pick one up, man. Camphor is probably the most, like I said, I think I said it before, the most underrated and Xeon antagonist suit. You know, people love it everywhere you go. I, I don't, I haven't found someone who doesn't like the camphor yet. I know, it's I, just, I, I met people who don't like you, the color. I, I just don't hear people when they say top five. Xeon suits, I don't think they put the camphor in there. I think it's because it only appeared once. Even though it made it, it made it made its presence known. <laughs> yeah. We only saw it once. That's why I'm thinking if we ever saw it in Stardust Memory, mm -hmm. dude, if one of the one of the, the, the Xeon Pirates was rocking a camphor and was like rocking everybody's shit like like that was in double eighty, mm -hmm. that'd be dope. Or if you mm. ever saw a camphor like in the in the unicorn, like if you saw a camphor when they the attack on Toriton where it's flying through the city, right? Like come taking on. people out, that like, would have been sick. Wonder why? I wonder why they don't go back and touch on those dope iconic Xeon suits in UC. Like I wouldn't mind seeing an updated goof custom in unicorn. I mean, I guess you know you, you could. It, it, and the thing was is you had the perfect excuse because you, you could say some people say well they were outdated by that time you know at the time of Torrington, everything that the Xeon were throwing out there was outdated some of them the one year war <laughs> that's what I'm saying like that the camphor is another one like I wouldn't mind seeing um, a few uh, did Zaku one put uh, appear in that yeah yeah in, in the attack of Torrington, that, that was the sniper that was sniper the, uh, that's right that's right yep. that's right good that was a good uh, episode sniper. Mm -hmm. OVA number four to five, if y'all want to know, because I know five is the black lion, the first appearance of the banshee. Uh, mm -hmm. And then talking about all these suits and stuff, man, and, and Gumpla, let's talk about some artistic style, man. How do you design your Gumpla? How do you, how do you sit back and say, you know what, I want to add this many decals? When is enough enough? When is a little a little? Mm. You. that's a good that's a good question um yeah for me uh i i have a certain little uh look that i like to keep to which is um uh detail but not too much 
like so uh for example um i the decals that are my on my kit i always like them to look as if there's real is purpose there so i put them usually at edges or corners or sides right and they usually have caution and um that kind of stems from me working around like uh, uh forklifts or uh any like machinery I, I look at kind of the labels that are there and everything there is for a purpose like the caution label there is to let you know hey you could pinch your fingers here yeah. or hey the caution here is to let you know hey this is the end or hey there's no step like if you're stepping on a wing of an aircraft yeah. there's no step and the reason why is because that's a flabber aileron and i like to kind of stick to that idea of if this machine was real where would these caution lines go now i don't like to overdo it i don't want it to look like a nascar i think cd calls uh, cd calls kits that are over decaled nascar car nascar yeah. mechs <laughs> where they just look silly uh so there's got to be a balance between which ones are larger um that you can display in this smaller one so you don't have a billion of them going everywhere but um yeah how i would design it is um is first take something extraordinary try to bring it back to a real world and then try to make it look extraordinary again but don't go overboard where it looks like mm. it's go back to a fantasy i i that's why one of the reasons why when i look at kids that have like a billion panel lines i I'm sometimes not as turned on by them as i am yeah. with some that have fewer but more strategically or artistically put panel lines that goes back let me ask you this no one talking about panel line are you particular when it comes to panel lining like the color like for me i have this and i've got to pick this up this is what i use for panel lining it is the favorite castle extra small pit artistic panel line pin I use it on all colors. Uh, it's not going to pick up because of this background. But I use it. It's fine point. I put it on blue, white, red. Are you the type of person I need? I, you need brown on red, white on gray on white, and then what is that? Black on blue? Or you don't, you just don't care? I, no, I, I do care. I, I, I tend to stick to dark gray on white. And I, and I, I have the... Um... The, the jar the jar one from Tom yeah Kamiya. um so dark gray on white uh black on every other color um and then uh regular gray if i if i want to do like eccentric like vents sometimes but i don't want them to poke out too much i would actually just run it across vents like gray and mm -hmm. kind of layer it and layer it a little bit um until i get where, uh, where i'm at because um dark gray i found out for vents kind of looks it look like there's sometimes too much grime or too much shadow and i yeah. sometimes want the vents to just stay the color they are um but yeah no it, it, it i am a stickler for panel lines like like the white the, the suit behind you see me in the picture like dark gray is the only thing going in those panel lines and that's not even panel lined yet yeah that that's all just from the you know the model yeah. kit itself and I, I i think it's black is sometimes just a little bit too yeah, you out get, there on white and i think what the size of the kit yeah I say that i think the mash a master grade if you do black on a master grade black panel line on a white master grade suit looks cleaner because you have more space to look at than a high grade of the same suit and what i'm talking about for an example shenlong high grade i did black at first i was like ah but i pan i look back and look at the panel lining i did on the master grade and i'm like well that was black but my eyes see more white because there's more white and that black looks okay. So I think the size matters when it comes to panel lining and what colors you pick too, because you don't use brown on red. I've never used brown. I've never, I have brown. I've never yeah. used it. I, I've never, I never really, uh, I, I, once again, I don't paint red all that much. I think I have one red kit I painted, which is the curios and all the red parts there don't really have too many panel lines to begin with um but Which yeah I, you're curious i saw it in the uh, uh, container of, not the container this case the other day mm -hmm. it makes me want to keep mine i'm like mom it might be i'm i have it up for sale i'm like like it looks good pretty much built and just that and that's the g reworks decals on it too nah. so it looks good but yeah no man it's um it's it's uh I, i've never really had to use it now also it depends too on the, how thick the panel line is because you know di different thickness of panel lines sometimes black will be yeah. better than the tiny tiny ones because you can actually see it and then dark gray would be better in the thick in the giant panel lines because it's not yeah. so bearing um but yeah now nah, the red 
gray. I mean, red, brown, brown. I haven't used. Oh, I have used brown though for weathering. Um, so yeah, as a quick, yeah, easy weather tool. Quick, either way. That's a great technique too. Mm -hmm. I think with me when it comes to decals, and I've said this before, it has to be. It has to fit. Mm -hmm. I have to look at it like. I can't decal a older looking suit, not necessarily age of the kit, but age of the suit itself. Like we look at the prototype goof, the master grade, the brown one. Mm -hmm. I go, if I was doing that one, I will only do a few decals on it. Mm. Like the uh, uh, RX, classic RX, like the high grade revive. The Origins one, since it looks updated and modern, I like the decals. A lot of decals on that. Um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> Unicorn the same way. But the updated, like an older looking RX or the older looking Zaku 2 mm -hmm. with no panel on the thighs just smooth is one or two decals. Like one, two, three decals. That's about it. Yeah, Not I, I a think whole lot. And I think that works best too, with, especially with the older kits, since they're they're rounded and there's a lot more surface area. You don't need as many. I mean, I'm sorry, not a lot of a lot of detail on very large surface areas. Yeah. Um. You don't need as many decals. I've, I've, I, in my opinion, I think, and I'm right there with you. The origin, especially the origin arc 78. I've seen some kits builds of it where you end up with that NASCAR crazy insane decal amount, but it actually works. Yeah. <laughs> and it, it, it's like you don't know why. Maybe it's because. That's the f the first time you've seen that kit, like the first time you actually look at it, and it was like really good, and you liked it. Might mm -hmm. have been fully decal like that. Same for, for me for the unicorn. Like I have seen some that have like just a one singularity and the unicorn logo, and that would be it. And I'm like, mm -hmm. nah. and it's probably because I watched it or I looked at it, a build someone's build of it, and it had crazy amount of decals. It's like, oh, that's dope. And it stuck with me. And that might be the reason why I like a whole lot of decals on a unicorn kit. Right. And, and, you know, um, uh, let's see if I can, um, if I'm able to bring it up here, there's, there's some kits where you can go NASCAR crazy with your mm -hmm. decals, but they're so small, numerous, and kind of, how can I say technical with what they're placed where they work well, but I mean, there's really not too many, um, how can I say, uh, there's really not too many scenarios or kits out there where it works well, in my opinion. Yeah. yeah. So one example I would say for a kit that has a lot of decals, but kind of works is something like this, right? You end up with a ridiculous amount of decals here. I mean, this is almost silly, right? I mean, almost <laughs> but everything, it clean. but it looks great, right? it works even like the the d and i love decals that fit in the spot where they're supposed to be at so like one right here but uh but yeah it's it it, it can definitely work it's just a little bit more difficult i would yeah. say and that's just the the struggle i have when i'm like all right i'm at the end how much decals is too much decals you know i think um once i feel like i'm running out of surface area on the shoulder on the bicep, I'm like, okay, that's it. Nah, I'm not. Like, we that's all we doing. It it could get it could get real funky sometimes though, because I'll be sitting up there thinking like I could I want to just keep going and keep going and I need a I need one on the top of the hand. I need one on you know the back of the arm, full like all the way around. So, and it, 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 a question for you then, like because that to me that like looks toward like our excessive attention to detail right for us when we look at a uh, high levels of detail what's your opinion on the amount of different colors of paint you add in for like one certain color because um sometimes you'd be building a kit and you look at there's like different panel lines on this one area and the whole thing's gray do you ever get tempted to add more details and paint different shades of gray even though you know most of the time that you won't even be able to see that that color in the backdrop yeah, I, of it all i see i see what you say like i think that's what mentally, me a lot. Mentally, yeah, I'm like that. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna go, and I want, I want to take this, and put this gray with an off white gray on top of it. Think, but once I get down to the nitty gritty, I'm like, I got a mask and all that. I'm like, I might avoid doing that. But mm -hmm. 
I like that though. I like seeing the different shades of white, different shades of gray. Uh, shout out to the homie Hoskins house. He's really good at doing that. Yeah. Um, sheesh. It's just when it comes, that's when you tell yourself, I got to sit down and break, break out the mask and tape. And this is going to be the project of today. Just the arm. And I want to shade just the arm or paint just the arm and or mask just the arm. And do you make those decisions before you start building or, you know, in the planning process and the design process? Because for me, I like to go into it with a plan of like sitting down with the with pretty much a picture of the Gumpla and kind of mm -hmm. just doing like a 3D. I go into MS Paint or even just uh, any type of Photoshop or whatever and just add colors into blocks to try to get a general area of what I want it to be. Um, and then, you know, as I'm building it, I'm starting to notice more and more panels that I can yeah. paint. Right. And you start thinking like, OK, can I incorporate this? Can I change this? Can I add a little bit of this? It's going to take me more time. But in the end, I think it's going to look better. Uh, but, you know, you know, some people ain't going to notice. And, and then on top of that, I guess I guess there would be a question of. Is there really detail there if nobody notices it? Yeah, guess, yeah. as long as you notice it, as long as you some notice. I think and I think somebody's going to notice. Hmm. I think somebody would notice like if you bring it to. I don't think Instagram is going to do it justice just because it's a picture. But yeah. it's getting up close and seeing like Tom's uh, Black Tri Stars Master Grade. I'm like, I noticed it. Like, I, okay, this is, there's a little hint of blue on this. This looks good. You know, like you wouldn't be able to tell from the photo. So definitely in the seeing it in person is you'll be able to notice it. But when I go through that process, it's probably right when I pick the kid out. I say, okay, this is the, and I'm starting to pick the paint. Like, this is the paint I need. Like, what I'm thinking right now, like, okay, I got the black TriStar RG. I need three, besides painting it black, right? Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to go with a, maybe Battleship Gray over mm -hmm. black prime over a black primer or that mm -hmm. dark gray over a black primer rather than just going all black, right? So I was telling myself, I need, that dark dark gray, let's just say it's battleship grade two right i'm pulling out battleship grade two as the main black but i'm like all right let me pull out battleship gray one so i can have some detail some parts color separation to it so i, I think it, it and it all depends on the fly too i might be building like damn this will look crazy with with this i think i struggle a lot I, which i need to do what you're saying I think I struggle a lot when it comes to painting the guns and the weapons. I need that's mm -hmm. one thing I need to work on next year is mm -hmm. when I paint paint the guns that you know three take the masking and three different shades of gray, dark gray, black, you know, metallic, chrome, whatever the case may be, right? So I got work on that. That's that's my goal for next year, having some dope looking guns. Yeah, and guns are always an important part of it, that finishing process because they they, uh, they they're the part where when you when you see those little cords that run through it, those are a different color, and the little subsection of the magazines and the little screws right. and bolts, like all that, just kind of makes the weapon itself come to life. And even, I think it even helps the figure too. And you're right, it is something that is overlooked, especially beam sabers. To <laughs> how many people don't paint the beam sabers or don't even put like one little caution, like red caution, on a beam I saber? Don't. I, don't. I I, I, granted, you rarely ever see the beam saver, right? It's always usually yeah. way in the hilt, right? But you know, when you do have it, and you that one time you take a picture with it taken out and it's slightly worn, it looks great. Yeah, it is a and great touch. Let me ask you, and then everybody, obviously, I don't. I, it's crazy. I sh should have to throw this disclaimer out. Obviously, this is opinion based. Let us know in the comments down below what's your opinion about the artistic style. Do you like a whole lot of decals? Do you not like a whole lot of decals? Do you prefer? What do you prefer? Do you go all black pedal line? Whatever the case may be. And also for the next question, the king of the hill. What is the best suit to customize? What is the, hmm. you know what? I'm going to, is it, is the RX? Is the RX and it being the origins, the best suit, that version of the suit, the custom a model kit form? I would say only because uh, so this is going to be the generic answer. I'll give you the generic answer and then I'll give you my answer. 
So okay. the, the the generic answer, because um, I think this is undeniably true because of just how many customized versions of it exist, how easy it's been recommended for people to get to customize, how many resins use it as a base, how many master builders have one GBWC with it. Um, the Gym Sniper 2 Master Grade is the mm. literally the the customizable suit. Uh, I, I, I think I have... I think there's more videos of it being customized, more entries of it being customized than any other suit, like hands down, resin kits, right. uses bases everywhere. So I think that hands down is the customizable suit. And you can tell when someone gets a gym sniper two, like if they are professional, that gym sniper two is not gonna look like a gym sniper two at the end of it. It's not gonna look anything near the and box. I think how, how rare you see a gym sniper two on shelves. When yes. you see it like Hobby Town, or anywhere else online it's not all you don't see that sells out that's a quick sellout kit that is a quick sellout kit real fast so but my answer i personally think is going to be um it used to be the strike but you don't see that as much anymore and i think that's because of the angles and stuff like that sharp angles it actually gets kind of complicated um but i think it's the exia and the reason why mm. i say the exia is that it's not hard to customize but it's hard to perfect but also it's a lot of fun because even where you mess up or you you screw up it still looks damn good no yeah. matter what you got a point there the exit is i that's i was gonna go with a stray mm -hmm. i feel like a lot of people do a, a whole good, lot of customization with this that's a good choice that's a good choice um but the exia you got a good point on that exia uh or the astray well the astray for me i think that's going to be the number one kit when it comes to when, when i see people say i want to get the astray red frame blue frame mm -hmm. and i want to uh, do whatever with it with a dragon with whatever samurai and, think, and the astray is essentially based on the strike so that yeah, yeah. so i will i was thinking rx i was rattling my head i was sitting at work i was like man what's I think the RX is probably the number one customized suit like I see on Instagram or TikTok. Um, but now I started thinking, I was like, I think it's the Australia. I didn't even think about the X year. X year is a good one, though. The X year is a good one. And you know what? The RX, you're right. A lot of people make it, but I think that's because it's just the abundance of it, you know, yeah. the availability of it. And, you know, I, I, at this point, everybody has built an RX 78. You, you might have a point, though. Everyone's built an RX 78, so therefore everybody knows how to tweak it. Even, yeah. even even like i think uh what some people who just get into gunplay will probably start working out how to customize it how to paint it I, how many custom rx78s have we seen through our years how, how many custom paint ones just even recolors and cool yeah. recolors like camos or gold and black tiger stripes or yeah you know, shout out to cobra plus yeah, yeah 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 <laughs> or um a synth wave rainbow colors right yeah like it's it, it uh we've seen um we've seen some crazy arc 78 kits so you're right in terms of like recolor alone i think you're right arc 78 is probably number one in terms of like deep root customization like panel line plaw plate scribing cut through all yeah. that stuff i think the gym sniper too um but i think the funnest one probably the best one that gives you the best results no matter what you do is going to be the exia but you're right the astray is pretty up there too the astray looks good no matter what and i've seen some pretty damn good recall yeah i've seen some yeah some uh, shout out to o, uh og gumpla mm -hmm. og OG on my fault og <laughs> gumpla who's um he did one of I think I don't know if that's a resin. It looks pretty dope though. It looks pretty dope. Uh what what kit do you don't see a whole lot customized? So the opposite end of this. I don't see a whole lot of Zaku's customized. Is it the mono eyes? I don't let's see. I don't see a whole lot of Zaku's customized. Which is crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I would say Zaku's. For Zaku. how like how many of them you could go out and get? Just like that like the RX treatment. Mm -hmm. Right and with the even with the Zaku's, how many different versions of the Zaku's? I think there's that might be the reason. How many different versions of it? Yeah, there might be. It's because everything you can possibly customize it. There's always a Zaku that already exists of it, like a heavy cannon Zaku that exists, yeah. right? A desert type Zaku that exists, a land type high mobility type that exists, a sniper Zaku that exists, an engineer Zaku that exists, then a mine laying Zaku that exists, <laughs> a gunner Zaku that exists. Yeah. Right in in Ewak Zaku that exists in Awak that still, exists. But even still, when it comes to like 
kit bashing and things like that, you don't see like a whole lot of Zaku's kit bash. Is it that because is, true. is it because I think it's the V fin? It doesn't have a V fin. I think people love that V fin, that V, that iconic V fin look on a customized kit. And you would think that a Zaku kit bash would be pretty easy, seeing that there's so many parts available for it. So many yeah. other Zaku's that you could use for it. Yeah, you can have a double shielded Zaku or a double, you know, horn spike yeah. shoulder Zaku. You right. imagine it'd be pretty easy, huh? You may, you so, might have a point. I don't think I see a lot. Which is, uh, and like I said, you get there's the high grade. You got the F two Zaku from is the F two yeah eighty three. You got the is F two from eighty three or is that from War in the Pocket? Uh, the F two is from War in the Pocket. Yeah. Okay, the Zaku that's gray from eighty three. The the EFSF capture one. Yeah, that yeah. one. I mean, and you have ten dollars Zaku's from the old old school high grades. I mean, there's about four or five I could just outside of the origins that I can run off. You have the new one, the revived ones with the rubber suit. You know, so mm-hmm. you don't just see a whole. I, I honestly think it could just be the fact of it. Not looking like a Gundam. I and, think and people he, like that Gundam look, the V fin, the two eye head sculpt. Because I don't even see a lot of mono eye customs. I I see a lot of mono eye customs, but you know the thing with mono eye customs, and and, and you make a good point about Zaku is that everybody goes like crazy with what they're building. So people use the Marasai, the Ak guy, the Big Zam the uh the uh, almost every other thing that's a mono eye but the zaku when they go nuts with customization i mean we're not yeah. talking about just recolors everybody recolors i think uh, i think we've seen so many recolors of a zaku that you and i can probably lose count but i mean uh but in terms of true customization yeah through customization yeah through mono eye those aqua suits i've seen a lot more customized customized version of those aqua suits that i have Zaku. yeah I think about it uh, the goof the the galgu the galgu won gbwc last year and that yeah, but that was, was a standard Galgu. That was a that standard Galgu. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't like a a crazy. different color, anything crazy. You know, that's a. I think Joe told me that was like a 1980s Galgu. Like, yeah, it was the original even, one. That's what that's what impressed them is that it was the original one with the articulation. It was terrible, and right. somehow he made it look uh, like it was came out yesterday. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, you I, know. I, I think you're just right. Just don't see a lot of them, and I, and I might just be the V fan. Like I, as I'm looking at the back of your, like your picture, mm-hmm. I think of what like the V fan stands out. The V fan really stands out on that, right? Like, and I think the that with a customized look, when that Gundam esque look looks more menacing than the mono eye look of a Zaku, even with the antennas, the commander's antenna and stuff like that. So. The Gundam is just the Federation or the good guy suit is just the way to go. Probably one of customization. I think customization, yeah. I mean, I, do you even remember seeing a GBWC where a mono I won a lot, right? Besides that Galgu, I can't think of anything else. Everything else was a Gundam. Or, that Cubelay Damned? The Cubelay Damned or that, um, the, uh, the, what is it, the inlay or Sazabi? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Sazabi. I see a lot of people who go wicked crazy in the, well, they don't change yeah. the color to be up a lot. They change the color. They change the color, the color. and they add panel lines and maybe panel openings. Like yeah. some ball plate there and there, and maybe some some grids and some some like pocket patches and stuff like that. But I don't see people I don't know if it's drastically the, crazy. Yeah. I don't know if it's definitely not at the bottom. Mm-hmm. I see a lot of people do the the white Zaku of the size of B. A ton. The, uh, a blue, mm-hmm. a black, mm-hmm. the military green. I don't mm-hmm. see a whole lot of. I think I seen one all gold chrome one before. But we don't see. A, <laughs> we don't, yeah, we don't see a whole lot of size. But what I do is I know which like it's the white one with the resin kit. Um, shout out to the homie Ralph down there in Hawaii. He did one, which was crazy to see in person. But just not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Thank God. Uh, hmm. Well, we, you, let us know in the comments what suits do y'all feel like are the most customized or what you see in a customized suit like is it the rx is it the gym sniper and what do y'all think is the le- yeah. least 
y'all want to see more of out there in the community more yeah, and, soccer twos and, and more than just recolor i mean um I, I i understand recolor everybody does recolor we're talking about like things that are like crazy rechanged if those if they yeah. are out there i mean it's just it's just a thought just mm-hmm. a thought one thing i can't do though i'm not gonna say i can't and i'm not gonna say never i prefer n- not to do kit bashes i don't have the imagination for a kit bash Mm, mm. How do you kit bash? Do you say, let me take the gut off of this, the backpack off of this, the waist off of this, and say, and throw it as one? Brother, kit bashing has nearly put me in debt. <laughs> <laughs> you see me, and sometimes I buy three kits of the same kit just to kit bash it just for the project to fail. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, you, you had that. a project in mind for the uh, RX Origins. Yeah, and it's still it's still in the works, everybody. And actually, yes. it's coming along fine. That one has not failed. But <laughs> there are some high grade kits I've I purchased multiple versions of that. Um, I think I've even given you some of the kits that I didn't even get it get to because I said I had a kit bash plan to them. Mm. Um, but yeah, no, I actually do enjoy kit bashing. I love uh, symmetry. Um, that's why yeah. I, the picture behind me was one of my favorite builds. I didn't even finish it, and it looks I haven't, I haven't touched it yet. It looks amazing. I love it is that double long fin funnel. I love symmetry. So if I get a kit that has one cannon on the side, I want to get another one so I could drill a hole and make the other one fit to put another cannon there or have two shields or or, uh, or something like that. I love to try and kit bash symmetry. I usually stick to high grade to do it um, because A, it's cheaper. Two, it's a little bit easier because the joints are all the same. When you get to master grade, things get a little complicated. Um, but uh, but yeah, no, nah, I, I definitely try to kit bash. And uh, the way I go about it um, for is I look at a kit and I, I simply say, okay, um, more usually is cooler. <laughs> there you go. So, so let me buy this kit for just the gun. Oh, the hand doesn't fit. Okay, let me draw a hole. <laughs> Lord Jesus, or, help this the, man. This, this gun looks bigger, so I'll get this one. Right, this, this beam saver, this beam effect looks cool. Let me buy this kit for that. Oh, and these wow. legs look cool in this one because it has bigger feet. So let me get the feet here for that. And if I could show you guys my, all my failed kit bash kits and all the, the literally the, the literal basket like trunk I have of just stuff that I used to, I, I, I fit together when I was first getting into the hobby. Um, you guys would be pretty, pretty, pretty funny. It would be pretty funny. Uh, but yeah, no, I love, I love kit bashing. Um, I, I don't do it as much because um, I kind of learned to just appreciate how things are, really. Mm-hmm. Um, there's something also kind of aesthetically beautiful with being not completely symmetrical. But, hey, you know, I, I love kit bashing. I would love to do it more. Um, shoot, I wouldn't even talk about it. I'm not going to die tomorrow. I'm going to keep doing it. <laughs> Damn. Well, there you go, people. He's going, He's not stopping. He doesn't yeah. want to stop. It's a madman. Mm. But let us know. Do y'all kit bash and... Join in on the conversation. Just join in on the conversation. Birthday bash giveaway. We we're going to announce the giveaway winner today. But obviously the homie CD is not, is not here. He is giving up the dra- uh, Phantom Gunnam. Is it the Phantom Gunnam? Yeah, he's giving up the Phantom. Yeah. And you have the Nipiko girl kit from Kota Bikia, yep. which is in collaborations with God Hands. And yep. I have the Messer tight fo2 the p bandai one the not the purple p bandai the burgundy p bandai and we're going to be doing that here's the rules make sure you follow the rules go back to the episode the one year anniversary episode comment your favorite moment of the year and if you can tag your ig handle in it so we'll be able to find you easy make sure you subscribe follow everybody on instagram things like that for one of these kits first place gets pick second place gets to pick between the uh, leftover third place gets the last kit remaining we appreciate everybody who checks us out watches and tunes in comments all of that we appreciate the love thank you so much for the support it's crazy how far we came crazy how far we're going to get so make sure y'all stick around make sure you check out vulcan hobby use code undergate 10 to get 10 percent off of your order at checkout we don't see anything of it we just want to make sure vulcan hobby is no trying to get Vulcan Hobby to be known as one of the premier shops to go to when getting Gundam and model kits. And if we if he could use the undergated as a conduit for people to come through and get save a little bit of coins, by all means, that's what we're here for. 
So make sure you check out Vulcan Hobby, VulcanHobby.com. Use code Undergate 10 to get 10% off your order. And also until next time, be safe out there. Spend some time with your family. Spend some time with your loved ones. Be financially smart. Austin is being financially smart. Do you really need that kit? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not I'm just asking. Do you really need that kit? Let us know in the comments below. You know what? I passed on the kit because I wanted to be financially smart. I passed on two kits and I'm still thinking about that Stark Jacket and Hakushiki. Lord help me. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm being financially smart. Yeah. Yeah. I'm financially. I'm not, yeah. I'm not I'm not I'm not getting it yet, but uh... <laughs> the sun will shine on us one day, big dog. One day. But until next time, I'm Coop. That's Austin. Make sure you check out CD as well. We're the undergated, never underrated. See you next Wednesday. Peace.